Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you myself. I got my hands on a brand new Beta 300cc or Beta, whatever you want to call it, trail bike that's been converted to a fully electric bike, which is pretty exciting. So, this bike actually started its life as a 300cc two stroke. The guy actually set up fully for trial riding. So, the suspension is really soft and a few things like that. So, let's get into it. I'm going to show you what the video is all about. And the end of it, I'm going to give you my feedback and some more stats on the bike. Amazing going. For you guys who know that's been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm mad about everything electric. And I got my first electric bike back in 2015 with my Zero DS, as you can see here. Now recently we've been a lot of people ask us how to charge an EV off grid. When I got my first electric bike back in 2015, it was actually an extension of the way I thought about it as a battery of my home solar system. So I was off grid in the middle of Sydney. And what had happened when my batteries were full, my solar panels would turn off because the energy's got nowhere to go. And then what I'd do, I'd pull up of an afternoon. Most of the times I get home sort of somewhere between 11 and two o'clock, I'd really try and get home. And when I would get home, I'd plug my bike in and my solar panels would turn back on. So the bike had a 10 kilowatt hour battery pack, which, you know, an example of Tesla Powerwall, it's probably the most common battery to get around the world everyone loves. The Tesla Powerwall has 13 and a half kilowatt hours of usable storage in it, when my bike had 10. Now, when I was given the opportunity to have a ride of this beta, I was pretty excited about it. So. With the beta, it's a 300cc, it started its life as a cross trainer. The guy who built it, he was a trials bike rider, and he actually built some Montessas and some crazy bikes. The guy's a CNC machinist, so that's his business, that's what he does, and it's made some amazing things. He converted the bike to electric for more of a trials bike, so to have a play around with. The suspension's really soft on it, something that I didn't like about it. He's about 80 kilos ringing wet. Myself, personally, and I'm pushing over 100 kilos, so... Getting on a bike with really soft suspension on that ride, and I actually haven't ridden for years either, so I personally lost all my bikes through the Lismore floods, so, which wasn't fun. But to get in the nitty gritty and the specs of this bike here, so motor's rated for a six kilowatt continuous power output, and the battery is actually a two and a half kilowatt hour. Uh, if you think about it, it's actually exactly the same as a Suron battery. So if you see the Suron bikes, what I really like about this bike for me, because I am bigger and heavier, with the Suron bikes, I just feel like they're really underpowered, and they're too small and they're a bit like a mountain bike on steroids. And that track I just went around, it's actually a mountain bike track. So I'd love to hear in the comments below of how the mountain bikers feel about these bikes riding on the tracks because these days with e-bikes, with electric bikes, you know, there's actually some e-bikes out there that are actually more powerful than that bike there and actually go faster than that bike. So it's, you know, I'd love to hear in the comments below any mountain bikers watching this, what do you feel about, you know, an electric tri trail bike that doesn't have much power as a mountain bike riding on the tracks. So the ride time of this bike, it really depends on how, how much you ride it. We only had it for a couple of hours and I've got it for a bit of a time to have a play around with it and do more riding on it. The guy that built it said to me that literally, he used to go ride it pretty much for a five to six hour day doing trials all day, um, playing around the bush. The bike actually only does about 50 to 60 kilometers hour flat out. So I'm gonna do a couple of tests to get the GPS out and measure all that sort of stuff and see how it goes. He's given me a few different sprockets to change around the gears and things like that to really check and have some fun with it. Now, it's been ideal. I've been playing around the paddock next door. I've actually flipped it a few times. I uh, haven't dropped the bike yet. <laughs> uh, doing wheelies on it. 
for any of you who know me from my days of riding my WR450, I used to be the wheelie king on the WR, and uh, doing wheelies on electric is very, very different. So it's one of those things you give it a handful, and um, you've got instant torque straight away. So you've got all that power there. So it's been quite fun. So we're doing some more testing on the bike and taking the bush and have a bit of fun with actually see really how much we can get out of it. Um, but so far it's been really good in that ride we did around that mountain bike park. I probably spent an hour there riding around myself. We used about 10% of the battery capacity. Then I threw the kids on and a load of kids up on their mountain bikes. So I had to slow down and stop riding around and we probably did another hour doubling the kids and that stuff around. So we did about two hours and we, at the end of the day we used about 12% of the battery capacity, which is pretty good with only an hour going flat out. I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think about electric bikes and if it's something you've been thinking about and wanting to do and get one. To me, they're one of the funnest things I've ever ridden and I've been riding motorbikes before I could walk. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and share it with a friend or share it around social media. I'd love to get the comments and see what people think about converting brand new trail bikes to electric. Until next time, for you and your bike, stay energized.